guys, it's Carrie. Lots of amazing Asian animals. Panda. When in estrus, females will go to the outskirts of their ranges and rub their anal area on trees and rocks to deposit smelly secretions from their anogenital glands. As females near ovulation, they will hang out in trees while males compete for dominance on the ground. The males lunge and swat at each other to establish dominance. The female will come down from the tree ready to mate with the dominant male. Male giant pandas have one of the smallest penises relative to body size. A willing female must get into the lordosis posture in which she lowers her front end, arches her back down and raises her tail end up, putting her vaginal cavity in the right position for the male to enter her from behind. She will then push down onto him. China's elephants are only found in a safe haven deep in the fragmented rainforest in the south of Yunnan province near the border of Myanmar and Laos. In China, Asian elephants are under first level protection and the government has taken steps to conserve areas of elephant habitat and numbers are on the rise. China also applies the death penalty to anyone caught poaching an elephant. Male elephants experience periods of heightened sexual and aggressive activity called must. It is a massive rush of testosterone that makes males aggressive and competitive. Tiger. Once they have found prey, the tiger stalks its quarry using ambush mode, during which it moves silently and stealthily through the long grass and thick vegetation. After the ambush, the tiger relentlessly pursues its terrified prey. Once the prey is caught, the tiger, equipped with its deadly jaws and claws, as well as the longest canines of any big cat alive, will use its body size and strength to knock the prey over and then give it a quick bite to the neck. Tiger's teeth are exceptionally long and strong. Its canines measure up to 10 centimeters and they are the longest amongst all cats. A tiger's claws are up to 10 centimeters in length and are used to grasp and hold on to prey. Tiger's claws are retractable in that ligaments hold them in a protective skin sheath when they're not being used. The ligaments are in a relaxed position when the claws are retracted, thereby expending no musculature effort. Tigers retract their claws to ensure that they remain sharp for times when they are needed and to tread silently up to unsuspecting prey. Other ligaments will extract the claws when attacking prey or defending themselves, which does not require musculature effort. Brown bear. I'm calling this one my Himalayan brown bear. Males grow to 2.2 meters. They are usually a reddish brown or sandy color. A Surrey brown bear, also known as the Ezo brown bear and the black grizzly bear. It's a subspecies of the brown bear. A very large Asuri brown bear may be almost as big as a Kodiak bear in size. It is a different subspecies to the grizzly bear. In large coastal or Kodiak bear males, the hind foot may measure up to 40 centimeters and 28 and a half centimeters wide. 
the largest Kodiak barefoot was 46 centimeters long. Siberian tigers will prey on the young bears or the smaller female bears. Asiatic black bear. This bear has a reputation of being extremely aggressive towards humans. It's a medium sized bear with long, usually black but sometimes brown fur and a distinct yellow cream or white chest patch in the shape of a crescent. Rhinoceros. The last native population of rhinos only became extinct in Yunnan province in the 20th century. By 1922 they were all extinct but I have good news. In 2010 a herd of nine southern white rhinoceroses were imported from South Africa and shipped to Yunnan where they were looked after in a wild animal park. In March 2013, seven of the animals were shipped to a national forest park where Asian rhinos once lived. Two of the African rhinos began the process of being released into the wild in the next year. This will help establish a rhinoceros population for the future. Krafowski's horse. Much like their equid cousins, the zebras and African wild asses, they have never been successfully domesticated. They are the only true wild horse left in the world. Their main predator is wolves. Krafowski's horse can breed and give birth to fertile offspring with domestic horses. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to all of your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.